Brigsby up the middle, touchdown Arizona. Followed basically in my brother's footsteps, my two other brothers, they play football. So the Wildcats do finish. It was a place where I felt I can uh, go there and um, compete right away to, uh, for a starting spot. Early into his freshman season, Grigsby did just that. He finished with over 700 rushing yards and earned all league freshman honors. Grigsby with the touchdown. I love being a spark plug to a team, so I mean, it was always just fun. That spark went off his sophomore season as he ran in 13 touchdowns and carried for more than 1,100 yards. The Iowa 30, still loose at the 25. By then, Grigsby already knew what he wanted next. Nick Grigsby with a huge play. I always wanted to play in the NFL. That, that's the goal for, I mean, all college players to, when they come to college, to get the opportunity, hope to get the opportunity to go play at the next level. But his final two seasons were plagued by injuries, which led to him going undrafted. An NFL lockout and no football next season. We didn't know if we were going to have a season that year. So I was like, oh, how come all this happening on, on our year that we come out? Well, good things come to those who wait. We're happy that we've got an agreement. And for Grigsby, it was in July 2011 when the Miami Dolphins signed him as a free agent to a three-year deal. You finally come up and you got guys, you know, like Reggie Bush, uh, you got guys, Jason Taylor, guys who you grew up watching. It's pretty uh, unbelievable. However, his time there didn't go as hoped. NFL stands for not for long. So basically, you get three years and it's on to the next guy because there's thousands of guys trying to get back in. So to move forward, he decided to go back to a sport he's loved since he was little. I was more of a baseball kid growing up. I was always traveling, um, played in the World Series, a little baseball, a little league World Series and stuff. A standout player through high school, Grigsby is now enrolled at Arizona Christian University. Nick Grigsby came to us back in December. He had expressed an interest in baseball. We saw some skills that we thought were very interesting, even though he hadn't played baseball for a while. And some teammates couldn't believe it. Over winter break, uh, my buddy Kevin on the team called me and told me that we're getting an ex U of A running back. So I was like, what? I thought he had never played, just gonna be purely athletic. And uh, turns out he actually played baseball before. So I was really surprised. Well, from day one, he showed enthusiasm, life to his body, and I mean, his, he seemed very uh, dedicated and very enthusiastic about trying to get better. The guy takes a lot of cuts in the cages because when you take that much time off, hitting is probably going to be the toughest part. Grigsby has played in about half of the squad's games this season. He ranks sixth on the team in runs scored and is batting 231. I've worked out a lot of multi-sport athletes over the years as a scout. He, he really is adjusted to certain parts of the game that I haven't seen many others do. Uh, everything has been going good so far, so I'm just going to let you know my path continue on where it's going. It might be with a different ball, different rules, different teammates and coaches, but Grigsby says this is where he belongs, on the field, pursuing his childhood dream. One, two, three, four.